Some exciting news in the world of virtual reality as Hideaki Nishino, the senior VP platform planning and management for Sony, has announced an update of the PlayStation VR number two. In terms of pricing, it really depends on Sony's strategy whether they're really going to try and eat as much of the market pie as it possibly can. Because let's not forget that Oculus Quest 1 now is available for $199 US dollars and the Oculus Quest 2 is from $299 US dollars, which means that the PlayStation VR 2 would have to be available from at least, let's say, perhaps $399 up to perhaps $499 if they really want to put some serious, serious oof into their competitive strategy. What we also know is that Sony have been sending out some patents for prescription lenses. So does this mean that people with glasses could just, you know, put the VR headset on and automatically fit the glasses inside? Or is it gonna come with some kind of glass technology where people who wear prescription lenses can actually see without having to wear glasses or get any adapters for that matter? Even though Sony haven't unveiled a lot of details in terms of the actual technical specs, we already know that the lenses currently, you know, they're gonna have to have an upgrade. And generally speaking, the industry standards now is moving towards the 4K display, other than of course, Apple's VR headset, which will be coming out also in 2022, which are anticipated to be 8K resolution display per eye. Now the current PlayStation VR headset also offers 120 Hertz refresh rate, but not every game actually provides or is coded or developed to provide that higher of amount of frames. So it's gonna be very interesting to see whether PlayStation will stay with the 120 Hertz or whether they're gonna move up maybe towards the valve and offer 144 or even more than that. Apparently the controllers will also be updated it's gonna be very interesting to see whether, you know, when you let go of the controller, it's gonna follow the hands a bit like the Valve Index controllers at the moment, or, you know, whether they're gonna amplify, for example, the haptic feedback to it and all these kind of things, and whether the PlayStation VR potentially could offer hand tracking. I think that would be very interesting as a lot of VR headsets are also starting now to move towards that direction. Sony have also found a patent to try and help people to reduce as much motion sickness as possible when wearing the VR headset. Now, this is what we know so far. By the way, make sure that you're part of the notification squad so you don't miss out on any future videos which we upload quite regularly to the channel by enabling the notification bell after you level up and hit subscribe. The patent describes a VR sickness reduction system, a head mounted display, and a VR sickness reduction method, and a program with which it is possible to further reduce VR sickness. Now, Sony also published another patent to the WIPO about potential esports functionality in the future VR headsets. Now, the patent goes on to say that it explains a head mounted display can provide a visually immersive virtual reality experience to the user as the HMD renders a three-dimensional real-time view of the virtual environment in a manner that is responsive to the user's movement. So basically means that whilst you're actually at the esports venue, you'll also be able to walk around and be in complete sixed off environment as you experience the event. Now word on the street is that the next PlayStation VR headset number two by Sony will be a wired VR headset. However, there is a Twitter user by the name of Lumen who posted a tweet to potentially hint that some of its capabilities could be wireless using what's called remote play. Now here's what we know. Apparently what this user did is that they digged into the PlayStation remote play app files and found code reference to the PSVR wireless remote play specific line, can't use a microphone with remote play when the VR headset is turned on. So the real question is here, will it be a wired experience or will it be a wireless experience? Or perhaps it will be both. 